everyone, thanks for checking out our ball review on the new Roto Grip MVP Attitude. Not only is this ball fun to look at, it was also fun to throw. The MVP Attitude comes at 3000 grit, factory finish. Roto Grip has designed this using our VTC H20 cover stock and is gold, violet, and purple in color. That's all wrapped around the Neutron NXT core that's been in all the MVP balls so far. So, as I said when we did the review on the MVP Pearl, I didn't exactly get along that great with the original MVP. The cover just didn't match with the core, and it wanted to hook and not stop, and it just didn't act right for me. But the MVP Pearl, I really, really liked. I got a lot of use out of, and the weaker cover with the really rolly, strong core matched up well for me, and I think this ball is going to match up pretty well for me as well. It's going to handle a lot more volume than the previous MVPs just because of the surface prep and the bit stronger cover. And it's rolly, but the cover wants to blend as well. So it's going to be a really continuous, controllable piece. And from what I've seen so far, it's kind of reminding me of a bit weaker haywire. And I really like the haywire, so I'm hoping that uh, I'm going to see the same kind of results out of this ball. Yeah, this ball was made to typically see more mid lane reaction. I don't know if I would need it on say our league house shot, but on those tricky medium oil patterns that we all love so much, this could be a go-to for those for sure. If you need a little help getting the ball to go through the front part of the lane and still react, then the MVP attitude would be a good option for that. Yeah, even though it's a sanded cover, it's still pretty easy through the fronts, but it just definitely gets into a roll a lot earlier than the MVP Pearl does. Um, I know we say this a lot, but they're going to make a good one-two combination if you wanted to get something in a little bit more budget line, but Rotogrip is getting really famous for giving you a lot of ball at a great value, and if you tried to build a bag with the HP2 and HP1 line, I think you could have a pretty good variety of bowling balls just from those two lines at a, a reasonable price. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think that the last bunch of releases in both the HP1 and HP2 lines have more than exceeded our expectations. And I think if you're looking for both value and performance, then I really don't think you can go wrong with either of these lines. So we both compare the MVP Attitude to the MVP Pearl, and you can see that we're obviously with the weaker cover on the pearl a little farther right and a little more square but you can still see with these colors it's really nice to be able to read that that core really starts to chug early and then is nice and round down lane and both balls seem to have that characteristic you're just going to see a lot more mid lane roll with the stronger hybrid cover on the attitude all right guys, so the release date on this ball is August 7th, and as always, if you liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells. Thanks for watching.